Um, let's check. I guess. Hey. I hope Mikan is gonna be okay. Even if she's a nurse, it should be difficult for her to treat her own wounds. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Murder? Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? Huh, what do we need? Uh, we need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No, you forgot about shitting. <laughs> Which means the answers are A, good appetite, <laughs> a good night's <nice> sleep, <laughs> and a good shit. Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? That's a, that's a decent answer. Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Bond? I. This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. To kill each other. Ah, oh, he said that with a straight face. How is he not how is he not embarrassed? <laughs> ah, I just figured. That was kinda of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. <laughs> However, what we need to achieve at Solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a it's disciplined this, mm. leadership. Provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. Even sports teams need captains after all. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction. Let's move on to the main question. Hey! Hey, wait just a second. What? What Jeez. is it? What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Deciding who to be the leader all on your own. Why does it have to be you anyways? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mahir, please wait. It's true that Byakuya might be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's the leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No, no perish is not. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept a role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all clear now. Then I guess we've made our decision. I have an objection, but it's not like I can actually raise my hand. Mm. Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. Honestly, this guy's pretty great. Yeah, but like... It's chapter one. I feel like there might be a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> yeah, so reliable. It's true. He's reliable, but... I'm not surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> now then, let's move um, on to the topic at hand. For real this time, hmm. I have something to show you all. Sorry, I was thinking about the character. It's okay. <laughs> something to show us. Follow me. It's at Jabberwock Park at Central Island. Come. Follow me. Did you hear his walking? No, was it like stomping? It was like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like Barney the dinosaur was walking away. After saying it was so blatantly, Byakuya turned around and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. J just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have made a mistake choosing him as a leader. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. 
Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to pay attention to me. Just go. I'll catch up with you soon. My water. <laughs> you don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it. When I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So, after she said that, Akin ate the entire Akane. Akane? Akane. Akane. Ate the entire plate of pile of food on her plate in one gulp. Snarf. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Man, that was good. You ever notice how people never make sounds when they eat? I occasionally make like a mmm. Really? Yes. Oh. Uh, but I also I guess... bite my water, so I mean. You bite your water? Hold on, yeah. I'll try that. Cause like I put the water in my mouth and I'm like, yes, I I just drink it, but like also like my teeth want to like be part of it. It's very weird. So you try like, do you like bite it in between swallows? Yeah, like while I'm sw like while I'm just having it in my mouth swallowing it. Huh. Anyway, I drink cold water, so I wouldn't know. What what happened? Are you choking? Damn it. Crap! Not a V and even a little. I'm even hungrier. Annoying. Jeez, Byaka better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. I guess I should go for now. I do like how once I talk to them, they leave. As in, like, they're actually, like, there's actually a consequence to my talking to them. Right? That's very nice. Let's go, Jumpy, Magazi, Sandy, Champy! My four dark demons of destruction. Let us venture to the end of the earth. Jabberwock Park. There's no need to shout. Just hurry up and go already. Oh, he's gonna I guess there. he's still chilling there. I can't remember if there was a thing. There appears to be a reception desk, but nobody's here. Where should I go find people who live here? Is this island really inhabited? Huh? Did not tell me? You too? Huh? Me too? What are you talking about? Um... Oh, Miss Mahiro has asked me to take a leadership position. Jeez! Well, Byakuya is being too forceful about leading us. Doesn't that raise a red flag? Hey, hey! Please, Sonya, think about it again. Don't you think you should be the leader instead? Um... I am certain I am ill-suited to be one. I... Furthermore, though Byakuya may be too forceful, I believe he has qualities to be an effective leader. Huh? Eh? Really? Please listen! Do you not remember what he said about being destined to stand above all others? He is truly attempting to fulfill that destiny by the strength of his own will. <laughs> his impressive stature and physique is a testament to his desire to be the ultimate affluent progeny, no? Um... That is truly grand. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Hmm. When you put it like that, Sonya, it does sound convincing. Hey, hey! Okay, I understand. I'm sorry for being so pushy, Sonya. No. No, it's it is simply a matter of regal discretion. All right, cool. That's those two. No Monokuma. Nope. Honestly, there will be like like a time where like you can focus on it more. All right, fair. I better hurry and follow up after Byakuya. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. All right, cool. Oh, hello. You still freaking out? What What are you doing? What are you doing? You should hurry over to the park. Oh, <laughs> you should hurry over to the park. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that it puts thing. Wah. Wah. Didn't the same thing happen last time too? Hey! Hajime, how many times are you gonna surprise me? I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry over to the park. Damn it! Shut up. I'm going back to my room. Seriously, this is all just one big hassle. <laughs> ah, damn it. Seriously, if we're on a tropical paradise, then why are we in this situation in the first place? Isn't that right? 
Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Relax. Snapping at me, snapping at me won't change a thing, okay? Hey. Hajime, it's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? The coconuts, damn it. I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open. On one side, do. We're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. You can't just wheel a coconut open. Just give up and get some coconut juice from a supermarket. You don't. You just don't understand. Fine. Be that way. I'm never gonna ask you for help again. No wait. He left. I hope he goes straight to the park. Now then, I should hurry too. I guess that is that. Oh, it's so cool. I forgot that you can do that controlling that thing. I'm level six. Hey. I don't really know what it means, but um, maybe it'll come to play later. Your body's getting more powerful. Oh, I should mention you don't gain XP when you press Q and E. That is the only downside. Oh, seriously? Yeah. All right, guys. I'm running. Just it. He runs like Joker from Persona in the Smash Brothers cutscene. Um. I like vaguely remember it, but I was watching like reaction videos to it. People were really freaked out. It's over here, I believe. He kind of looks like a sick figure in his shadow. <laughs> I like always like you're just taking a nice stroll through the park and then like, oh look at that, a doggy. There you go. Oh. We're skinny people, you're awfully slow. Um... It seems you're just a little too fast for us. Ah. Jeez, I never expected a fat fellow like him to move so fast. What? So, what are you supposed to be here? What? What's supposed to be here? Here, really? Such ignorance. If you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. Oh yeah. Hmm. Nothing really looks different though. Yeah, the trees look the same. Oh. All right. That one's cut. Oh, I tried to leave. <laughs> what does Byakuya want to show us? It's definitely around here somewhere. Not over there. Hmm. It's a repeat. Yes, yeah, repeat. Oh, it's the bomb. What is it's that? Bomb. It's definitely a bomb, my dude. That's a clock, my guy. See that? Twenty-one days left. Twenty-seven, maybe. A clock. I don't know how many clocks you have in your house, my dude. But a clock doesn't tell you how many days remain. Bro, you ever play Majora's Mask? Dude, I hate it when things do that. When things are like three days left or like night of the third day or like... Why? Because it gives me anxiety. Is it actually? <laughs> Not Bro, like real anxiety, it. like real real anxiety. But it makes me feel like very like, oh god, what, what, what am I gonna do? Like it makes me very nervous. Oh, I guess I can see that. That's why the first time I played Majora's Mask, like I stopped like after like an hour because I was like, no, this is this is not right. If uh, that's like basically one free day cycle. Now obviously, an obviously out of place object placed in the center of the peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something things off. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Hmm. I found it this morning, when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it was actually placed here. It appears... Manakuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? Oh. Um, I have no clue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me, because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! Could it be? Better not be a bomb. Are you kidding me? 
Bong. Not possible. If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Um. Um. Then what are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? Mysterious mystery, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Come <laughs> on, me. What? What are you doing here? Um. I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Uh, no, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> hey, 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 you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears you cannot escape. I see. You must be an undead abomination, risen from the foulest dust of another world by black magic. Isn't this guy a breeder? Yes. Why does he talk like this? Hey. Bro, he's a... Uh... What's that thing called? The Chinibio, I think. Okay. You know what that is? Like, no. People that never really grow up. So, like, you know, like how you fantasize a lot when you're like when you're a little kid. Sure. And you grow out of it. So basically, imagine you never do. So you still dress up all funny and stuff, and you still have like these little fantasies that you say out loud. Oh, like furries. Kind of, except like <laughs> it, it's more about just being a little cringy kid. I guess. <laughs> 